How's it going everybody? Teo here from Spark Cycle Works. Today I'm going to show you a revolutionary piece of hardware that allows you to safely add a second battery to your e-bike, electric skateboard, or any other electric device and even improve its performance. Let's get into it. We call this little device the battery blender. It uses 100% made in the USA electrical components and we have it assembled by our European partner company called Datex. At about 150 for this thing, you might say, what a ripoff. I'll just use a parallel battery connector for 10 bucks on Amazon. Don't. Please don't do that. While it is true that it's possible to connect two batteries together with a parallel connector, it's also extremely dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. If one battery has a higher voltage than the other, it will rapidly discharge into the lower charge battery. And that is a recipe for a fire. So, what does the battery blender do? It's got some fancy electronics going on the inside that allows you to connect two batteries of different voltages, different capacities, even different chemistries, and have one singular output. It then decides which battery is at a higher charge and draws from that one first. Once the batteries are balanced, it will draw from both together. That means you could have one battery halfway charged and the other battery fully charged. Connect them together and you don't have to worry about anything. The battery blender is great for e-bikes because they normally have removable batteries. That's what makes it so hard to ensure that two batteries are the same voltage when you connect them. Besides just being nice to double your range, the device also reduces the amount of voltage sag and allows you higher average speeds across the voltage band of your battery. You might know that feeling of seeing below 50% charge and experiencing a slowdown in your bike. The blender will reduce that effect. Because of how it works, you can do something very special for e-bikes specifically. Let's say you have an e-bike with a 48 volt battery. If your controller will permit it, you could actually combine 52 volts and 48 volts. The blender will take power from the 52 volt until its charge matches the 48. Then it will take power from both of them together. So what can the battery blender not do? To start, you have to use XT60 connectors. If your bike doesn't use those connectors, you'll have to use adapters. Next is the current rating. You shouldn't go much above 30 amps. We have run it on 35 amps, but that's a little risky. Lastly, you 100% cannot use it with a regen braking system. It will blow out. The only thing now is connecting one. Doing that is very simple. Plug one battery into either input, plug the other battery into the other input, then pick either of the middle outputs to connect your controller to. Either one will work. You can buy the battery blender on our website, sparkcycleworks.com. If you have any questions, please leave a comment and we'll be sure to answer it as quickly as possible. Hopefully that was informative. Uh, please subscribe, definitely throw us a like, and uh, stay tuned for more.